Hello world, it's Chatty Dad one here coming at you today. Um, I haven't made any videos in a while. Personally, I've been discouraged with YouTube um, taking the sound out of my videos, um, putting it on pause for eight minutes, and then ramming through the end uh, in ten seconds, and and just blatant abuse of those that they are supposed to be serving. Um, so I've been discouraged about it, you know. I mean, more and more, I I get on YouTube to see the news. Not from Fox, not from RT, not from the Associated Press, but from you all. From people like myself that search this stuff out and that put it out there for everybody else to share and it's this stuff is just stuff that you will not hear about anywhere else um <clears throat> for instance i was listening to the radio talk radio um on the news from cbs um, they said that the uh, Korean missile had not launched yet, and they still had a couple days to launch it. Well, I just got done listening to uh, Michael Savage talk about he was sick of hearing about how the um, North Korean missile launch failed. I mean, you know, and, and that is blatant withholding information. I mean, they finally came out and told us about, I think, the next day, the next morning, what was really... Um, what had really gone on with it, but I mean, it's stuff like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. They're trying to withhold this information so strongly, and I haven't been getting videos from my subscriptions um, of other people. There's been a lot of people quit YouTube and start their own blogs, and I've been visiting them, and all that. I wish there was a website that would gather up all the stuff you wanted and send you to these blogs like YouTube does with the videos, but there's not anything like that yet. Good idea for somebody. Um, you know, it just ticks me off. Oh, um, one thing that I was thinking of the other day, y'all heard of um, Major Ed Dames, right? The uh, um, remote viewer. Well, he talked about the cr shot across the bow that was going to happen before the kill shot. Okay. We had this huge, biggest solar flare I've ever seen the sun throw out. Could this be the cro shot across the bow? And then today, they're moving the space shuttle, Columbia, on a big jumbo jet. And Ed Dame said that the Space Shuttle Columbia coming down was going to be another thing that happened after the shot across the bow. And then there would be the war, and then there would be the nuclear thing, the war, and then the kill shot, and then everybody would go home after they looked up into the sky. It's pretty amazing. And I was just wondering if this wasn't the shot across the bow to show us how serious the sun is. Um... I believe that their instruments have been damaged because they're not reading these flares properly. I mean, they're calling it a friggin' M-class flare? Uh-uh. <laughs> it's, I haven't seen one that big. And, and the amount of, um, the amount of UFOs that have been filmed and seen and stuff is just unbelievable. And I mean, it's and you know it's not fake i mean some of it yeah some of it's fake and you know it's fake when they put some of it up you can see the photoshop and done but you know some of the other ones is just unbelievable you know that somebody just freaking saw this thing and just went and ran and grabbed their camera and started filming it um <clears throat> You know, there's a lot going on in our country right now. You see the uh, 
ATF, Homeland Security, the Fish and Game Department buying up all this ammo. And this ain't regular ammo. This is the Black Talon ammo that comes out into a five-pointed star that is meant for nothing more than mutilating whatever it shoots and killing. It's a, it's a, I, I mean, go check out the bullet, the Black Talon, um, 40 caliber bullet. It is just unbelievable. The, 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 uh, the, the spines this thing puts out, the talons that this thing has um, after it's fired. But uh, it's, it's pretty freaking scary. But, um, you know, and I can see that the, the, the cops are ramping up, man. I, I saw a uh, roadblock just the other day. They, down the road from the store, they had them shut down on both sides, a, a license check and all. And, uh, yeah, I think the police are scared. I mean, and then you've got the media ramping through this whole Trevon Martin thing, this, and they're stirring up a whole race thing. It ain't about race. It's about money. It's about poverty. It's about people. Um, you know, the poor white people have to deal with the same kind of crap that the poor black people got to deal with. And the illegal immigrants ain't got to deal with none of the same kind of crap that the poor white people and the poor black people and the poor Hispanic legal citizens have to deal with. Uh, and that's a whole new world and the middle class is shrinking more and more and more. Um, you know, it just makes me sick to my stomach to see people whipping out credit cards to pay for their food, to pay for their medicines. And this ain't no health savings card from their bank. It's a frickin' Visa Master, Master card to Chase Manhattan. And, you know, um, I know because I've had to use one myself several times. Um, and I hate to do it, but what more can you do? when gas is over four dollars a gallon and you've got to drive uh, you know sixty miles a day to work in a vehicle that gets twenty two miles a gallon and then you gotta to drive to take your kids to school or to take them to band practice or to take them to football practice or uh, whatever you gotta do and you know and, and the eating out money to go to Pizza Hut and stuff like that, that's 50 bucks a pop if you're going to go get a pizza. It's unbelievable. And, and you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't got to tell y'all. Y'all know. And the stuff that's been seen at the Newmare Station in Antarctica, unbelievable. Check out M from Canada's stuff. Um, it's just unbelievable. You can see, you can see that there's a, something else there besides the moon or whatever they're saying it is. And then the pulsing sun and just all the stuff. But I'm starting to see less and less and less of the videos that I like to see of the people that are putting out stuff that I like to see. Um, and oh my gosh, the amount of earthquakes going on. The ring of fire is just going nuts and I mean I, I think I counted there was 211 four pointers and above in the past seven days I saw I think yesterday or the day before on the uh, earthquake thing and um, I was listening to um, coast to coast this guy was talking about they delete a lot of them that's coming on there, um, you know, so they don't want to throw us into a panic, and, um, you know, with the new bill that they signed, and I'm, I mean, I'm blown away that the United Nations has 
Yellowstone Park. They have control of um, um, the Grand Canyon. Read the um, executive order that Bill Clinton signed into law. Um, I checked out some executive orders too, and I was blown away at the executive orders that that uh, Bush Jr., Bush number two, signed 300 and something executive orders, and most of them happened after 9-11. Obama, so far, he's almost gotten half that many in the three and something years that he's been in office. So he ain't far behind him. Um, lots of strange weathers going on. Um, lots of strange things. Lots of strange things. Um, the other day that they had that real bad earthquakes popping off, they had them three, the one in California and the one in Mexico, and the one off of Oregon, and then the one up in Washington, and and stuff. Um, that morning, I woke up early, and I was shaky, and I did not feel right. I felt weird, and uh, and um, I've had troubles with my ears ringing, and I know that that's that's a uh, you know, that's a symptom of harp. And I think they've had harp going off the charts. I think they've ramped it up and so they're pushing the envelope, seeing how far they can go. I think that they're literally got it on full blast and they're just keeping on going. Um, they want to push us over the edge, y'all. And, you know, and they've got us backed into a corner. We have no ways of communicating with each other to try to stop this stuff from going on. Um, it doesn't matter how we vote because it, it, our votes aren't really counted. I mean, they are, but the people that get in there, they got, you know, they find out the dirt on them and then they blackmail them and then they make them vote for whatever they want them to vote for. Um, Go watch the Oliver North trials. Um, that's some interesting stuff. They touched upon some government within the government stuff that was being attempted to go on. Um, that's that's some pretty freaky stuff. And that was back in Reagan days. They had some stuff that Reagan didn't even know what was going on. And, uh, you know, he pushed through some executive orders himself. I mean, Bill Clinton did. He did bunch of them have. Um, but yeah, go check them out. There's so much information on there. But I've also noticed that the information that used to be there is no longer there. You have to log in to this site before you can get certain information um, revealed to you. So they know who you are and they know your IP address. They know where you live. Um, and I've noticed that, uh, <laughs> I built a little shed out back and I just checked the other day on Google Sky, Google Earth, and that's got my freaking shed out back. So they, they've updated Google Earth pretty recently. This is, I mean, this is, I'm talking about within the last month. And before that, they hadn't updated it for years. And um, that was interesting, too. But um, there's some really, really interesting, neat stuff going on. It's a neat time to be alive in this world. And it's also kind of a frightening time. And for me, it's important. And that's, that's why I'm so glad that I have faith in Jesus Christ and my Heavenly Father. And I have, you know, something that I can believe in there. And... I have a testimony in this that it's real and true. Jesus Christ lives just like you and I. He took his body and, and he's back up in heaven and he's going to come back. He's going to come back and stop this stuff. I, I I don't have any worries about it. I know that all the stuff that's happening 
is what's got to happen. I mean, the Bible says it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But it's it's it is a neat time to be alive. Um, but there's a lot of sucky things going on too. There's a lot of medication shortages and food shortages in supermarkets here and there. Different types of things. Um, there's products that I've seen for years not showing up anymore. Um, oh, have you heard about the FDA um, National Pill Prescription Give Back? They want to take, they want you to give back all their medications that you're not using no more. Um, I would probably say because they can turn around and uh, sell it or turn around and put it back in the system because there's a major medication shortage right now of all different kinds of stuff. I mean, stuff to keep people alive and stuff to keep people out of pain and stuff to keep people from you know, um, having a rejection of a kidney. I mean, all kinds of medications out there, there's, um, you know, problems obtaining certain ones. Um, several um, places have been shut down um, for this reason or that reason or due to the lack of resources or due to up in, you know, they didn't figure that there was going to be this many people taking this medicine, but, you know, with with the poison we're taking in and, and stuff and we're eating yet we're not getting the nourishment from it that we really need we're not getting the energy from it so we're having to slam uh, you know we're having to drink these energy drinks and and all this caffeine and and all this stuff I mean people back in the day used to drink a little cup of coffee in the morning and go all day and they would eat all day and their food would give them nutritional value and energy um, I don't know when the last time I was that I ate a meal and got energized from it I mean really energized from it um, I know that it stopped me from being hungry in some cases it made me tired <laughs> made me want to go to sleep um, but really energized uh, it hadn't happened for a long time I, I know that I used to get that as a kid um, running around and playing and stuff and I'd get hungry and start to get wore out and I'd go get you know peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I'd be good to go man for the rest of the day and the, you know peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some whole milk not that's been nuked and homogenized and pasteurized and sent through the fire but whole milk with live colostrum bacteria in it that is the fauna for your intestines that is vital for your intestinal uh, your immune system I, I mean your intestinal tract is your immune system's first major defense um, yeah, but, um, I think that, um, we just need to try to do our best and try to ride through this because it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, no matter what happens, there's going to be a better place than this. We're going to go to a better place and a better life than we have right here. Um, I've heard say by uh, people that claim to know that if we knew what the life after this was like, we'd suicide ourselves just to get there. That it's that much better than this. But there's important things that we need to learn here. We need to learn how to use our bodies. We need to learn how to control ourselves and control our urges and passions and all these things we do so we can obtain a higher level of uh, self-control, um, self-governance, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And learn how to, I mean, <laughs> and, uh, it, there's just a lot of neat stuff going on right now. And then, you know, kind of freaky stuff too.
but uh, it's a neat time to be alive and to be here. And I'm glad I'm here, you know, even though work's not as steady as I'd like it to be. But it's there. I'm grateful for that. And uh, I'm grateful for the family that I have and for the friends that I have. And, you know, I'm thankful for that I can get on here and, and ramble on to y'all and then talk about all this stuff. Anyways, I'm, uh, hope everybody's having a good day and, uh, let's keep each other in our thoughts and prayers and try to send out good, um, good, good waves, you know, good vibrations out there because there's a lot of hard feelings and a lot of worry and a lot of pain and and suffering and depression right now with our fellow man um, a lot of people need help and they're not they're not getting it people are turning a cold shoulder to one another and that's another thing the bible said was you know men would lose the love that they had for one another but anyway i hope everybody's well and this is uh chatty daddy one saying god bless and good luck to us all over and out.